base building, we will be covering those too. Today we are looking at the very basics as a freshborn on how to handle hunger and hydration, finding food, and how to open cans and then eat. So the first very important thing is not to full sprint around from the start. Stay at a steady pace as you will use more water food, which will lead to an early death. Notice the arrows below the food and water icon. If you get the maximum of three arrows, which is when you full sprint, you will lose the maximum amount of food and hydration over time. We want to minimize this until we find enough food and drink to travel further inland. Of course, if we crouch, the arrows will reduce and we'll lose less hydration and food. Easy. So we are currently in Kelm, just inland of Berezino. Now, Berezino, you could search for loot, food and the basics, but it can be dangerous. There are a lot more infected there, as well as players that could be hostile. So I would always suggest heading inland a little bit more to a place that may not have been looted so much. Of course, don't forget about the wells. You can drink as much as you want there to keep your hydration at the white status with arrows going up, which means it's filling up. Always remember to check clothes as well. Sometimes you can find food and drink in those. Another tip is if you struggle to find tins of food, look out for the apple trees. You can tell those by the apples in the trees and look at the base for the dynamic apples that can spawn down there. If there are none there at the time of you checking, come back a little bit later after searching a few houses and you may see some that have dropped on the floor. Here's one right here. All we do to eat is drag the apple into our hands, press and hold the left click, and we'll begin to eat with the circle filling up. And that apple is gone. And now we can see three arrows, either over hydration and food, filling up and giving us some more energy to travel a little bit further. Apples don't give you much though, so you need to find more food before you travel too far inland. We want to make sure we've got plenty of food to keep us going. Let's carry on looking. Remember to always keep that normal walk pace. Try not to sprint. I know it is hard because we were spoilt with 6.2 and before, where we could run at like 25 kilometers an hour and, and have no stamina to worry about as well. Stamina we will cover in a future video also. You're not always going to be lucky and find food. A lot of places can be looted quite heavily along the coast. So that's why I always recommend heading inland a little bit. Found a bit of ammo there. The places people might not have checked. And we got some matches as well, which will be handy for a future video on crafting campfires and cooking. Keep an eye out for that one. Canned sardines. And how we want to open these canned sardines is we can either drag it to our hands, drag the axe on and combine, and then we get the option there to hold left click to open can. We can either do that, or we can drop the can on the floor, put the axe or knife in our hand, look at the item, and hold left click to open can again. Now, if you do struggle to find an axe or a knife, you can also craft a knife in the world with stones which are typically found on tourist trails, which you can spot by these markings, and of course, the walkway here, the trail. Now, if we go along the trail, I already have one stone, and we need two to craft a knife. So we drag one stone into our hands, again, just like opening a tin of food with a knife, and we just look at the item on the floor. In this case, it's two stones, and left click and hold to craft a stone knife. It can be quite hard at the moment to find a stone, especially two stones, because there's not many spawning at the moment. But uh, keep an eye on those tourist trails if you're really desperate, or if you're in your travels. And there we go with an improvised knife. And then we can eat the kin of food, just by dragging it into our hands and holding left click again. We can also move while we're eating now, in 6.3 and onwards, which is very nice. Now, obviously, map knowledge comes in greatly as well, knowing where apple orchards are, and where lakes are, and uh, getting some purification tablets. We can cover that further on in an advanced survival with making water bottles, cooking animals, making a campfire, will all be in the next survival episode. But I hope this helped you guys get the basics of survival, and I hope you can get further off the coast without dying. Just take your time like I've been doing here. You pretty much copy what I've done, and you should find you'll survive a little bit longer, pending infected, of course, which another thing we'll cover in future videos. And hopefully, this has helped you a little bit. Let me know in the comments below if you have any ideas on tips that you would like to help you survive a little bit more. And we'll look at including them in a future video. Maybe cover a couple of things in a video rather than one small thing. But I thought we'd get the basics out of the way first. Or leave a like, subscribe if you enjoy the content I create. Many more to come. And I'll see you peeps 
next time.